the website, I'm a huge believer of the bag system. So here are two medium-sized bags and two small bags. Thanks. So what we have here, like I said before, if you go to my packing list, we have two long sleeve tops, plus I'm wearing one. We have three pairs of pants, of course I'm wearing my orange ones. And here, we have this, basically your under things, right? So I'm just going to put it in here. Lots of underwear, a couple of bras, a cute bathing suit, and socks, all black because you don't want them to show them. So get in here. Here you have a couple of t-shirts here, two sleeveless tops, you have three short sleeves tops, and you have three long sleeve tops. So these are all your tops, three, three, and three. So I'm wearing the sleeveless one, and again, a sun shirt. Then we have a couple pairs of shorts. This is a longer pair of shorts here, a shorter pair and something to sleep in. So let's go there. And then here you have your outerwear. So you have your long sleeve polar fleece, you have another lighter weight fleece, and then your all important vest. That goes in as well. And then as I talked about before, we have two skirts. So you have one kind of t-shirty sundress and two skirts. Goes in here. Here you have the hat, two sarongs, and a scarf. Very big. These could go in the There you go. One pair of yoga pants, also just handy hat in case you need sleep on them. Here you have all your toiletries. They should all fit in a couple of these bags. So here's the biggest one. This is actually for the towels, so we'll leave this for a second. But go ahead and put these in. It's mainly just medication, Imodium, uh, allergy medicine, things like that. Things you don't want to be caught with that. And your toothbrush. So this is really about half of what I pack. So there's this one, and then this one would probably be pretty full too. So we'll put these to the side there. And again, here we have extra Ziploc bags, which I talked about with emergency, which is awesome. Can't have enough of that as you're going. I'll go ahead and put those there. So here is the bag system. So first, let's start with the bottom. We'll go ahead and we'll get it in there like this. A couple pair of shorts. In the side. Another couple pairs of shorts in the side. So that's pretty much it. These are all your bottoms right there. Here on the outerwear, let's do the tops first. And again, you shouldn't need any more than this that we have already. Here are the two long sleeve tops and the three long sleeve t-shirt tops. So all your tops are in the small one. All your toiletries, scarves, sarongs also in the small one. And here you have another large one. And this should actually fit in really nicely for our outerwear. So as you can see we have a lot of extra room, which is awesome because we'll use it. We could always put in another windbreaker. Usually I would travel with a windbreaker uh, and the shoes and whatnot I'll go ahead and put in the bottom of the bag. So here we are with my backpack. This one is an Osprey. It's made for women because I'm a sucker for things like that. Um, I don't love it. I actually would probably buy a different one if I had it. That's since I invested a couple hundred bucks. It's mine for a while. Um, what I don't like about it is if you could open up, there's a big concave place right here um, so that you could air out and don't sweat. I kind of think it's a waste of space because it's hard to get the bags in and out. And, you know, you see people with the front open and zip ones, which are so much better. But, here we go. There we go. The most important thing, of course, is to get all the air out. So the sound will annoy your roommates, but who cares? Get in. And the first big one. Now we're going to go with another small one, right here. Get off the hat. And press it down here in the side. Just look it in the side now, on top of where the smaller one was. And now your last bag. There's that. And you slip it in. So as you can see, we still have a lot of room on top here, which is really great. Um, you have your toiletries here. This is normally where I put my toiletries. I can put them on here. It's there. Here are a couple of the towels. Um, I travel with two. This is a smaller one and a larger one, um, just because they come in really handy, but one will probably do. Put them in here. And a lot of times I'll put them in here as well just because they have this nice little ring here. Like that. So this is pretty much your pack. This is where we're going. 
here right now. I can go ahead and sense it shut. This will be awesome. Go ahead, of course, and tuck this inside. And then the pack goes over it. So there's tons of room in here. So this is where I usually put, let's go ahead and stitch that down. It's a tight one right there. So this little back lever here is where I put my food, my power bars, things like that. As I mentioned before, you can't get enough of the Ziploc baggies. Emergency goes right in here. So that should be all kind of packed up with emergency food. There you go. So I did mention my bag is a 55 pound bag. It's the smallest one because I kind of think that you don't need to be carrying any more than that. Here's my sleeping bag. As I said, I'll take the sleeping bag. Instead, what I take is a sleeping bag liner, which is awesome. Uh, you can always rent a sleeping bag if you need to. I put that in there. Here is a mosquito net. You never know, we might need this. And extra straps, which are really great, so you can strap things on. Go ahead and put these there. This is a rain tarp, which is excellent. You need that, of course. Um, it goes over the entire thing, both you and your bag, which comes in really handy. And of course, the headlamp, which is going to go in our day pack. So this is another extra bag. Can't have enough of those. Again, I always pack an extra bag, like this, a big bag for me to pick home souvenirs and things. So this goes right in here. And here are my shoes. Now, I'll probably be wearing, if I travel, I'll be wearing these. So um, here are my flip-flops. You know how much I love flip-flops so I could get a workout on my legs. Here's a little bit nicer ones. Kind of cute, but kind of ratty, so I don't care if I ruin them. In they go. And of course, flip-flops again, because you need these all the time to take a shower. Ready. So that's pretty much what you need here. Go ahead, cinch it down. Um, again, you have tons of extra room. So at this point, if you're packing just to leave for your trip, you have tons of extra room here. You have tons of extra room here. And what you do is put it on right there. Really nice and light. This is to protect it from all the grease and uh, stuff like that on the bottom of the bus and to keep all the straps together and stuff. Go ahead and pull this out. This, of course, is an Osprey bag that goes with it. And we'll put it all on here. It's not going to hold up that one. But usually it'll wash you, last you a trip or two. So again, here's your bag. The day pack goes here. This is something I'd wear crossways like this under, of course, my belt. My money belt, which again I talked to, under here. Absolutely have to have it. My pillow, I know it's dorky. That's great. Playing cards, a couple books, the journal, and the headlamp. So all this stuff goes in your day pack. Room here for the water bottles. And the headlamp goes right in. So that's it. I go ahead and do it. So I put the pack on, put the day pack here, and off I go to start trapping.